Now, let's examine the stylus and the electrode setup. I'm going to turn the time over to our trainer, Alex, in the samples lab, and he will show you how to sharpen the electrode and get it set up in a stylus. Hi, everyone. We're going to be covering how to set the electrode depth in your Sunstone or Orion stylus. This is going to help set this distance properly so that we can take advantage of the argon coming out. So what we'll do is, if we're opening this up for the first time, is we're going to loosen up that collet nut. And then if we look inside, we can see that collet. That's going to be loosened up now. So with the flat side of our electron, we'll be able to place that in. And we'll just place it in a certain, about halfway, we'll say. And you can see I have two nose cones here. So there's been a couple of different designs over the years, so I want to cover all of them while we're here. Uh, the current and, and most common design is with the groove right here. You can see in the light that there's a little notch right here. And it's pretty wide. So if we're using this, what I'd like to do is I rest the back of the nose cone against this brass, call it nut, and then I'll use my left hand to push that electrode until it's somewhere in the middle of those two lines in that groove. Let's see if I can get it in that. There we go, right there. Once it's there, I'll just bring my right hand over, tighten that up so it's snug. We don't need to tighten it up crazy. Um, that will help uh, improve the life of this part. And then we can slide this back on. And then with just a firm push, it'll click into place. And then you can see that it's sticking out the correct distance. The aim is about a quarter inch for this, uh, this electrode so that we can get proper coverage. If it's a little shorter, that's fine. If it gets longer than this, then we start losing the benefits of getting argon since it's too far away. So let's say we have a tip, sorry, a, a nose cone that doesn't have that groove. So what I do in that case is I will rest it up against on the cone side, and then I'll, I'll just loosen this up. So I'll set it up like this and the, with the same technique is I'll push that electrode until the tip is about touching that that nose cone now on that uh, ridge there I'll tighten that up and then I'll slide this back on and that's sticking out almost identical to the previous one we're going to be covering the proper sharpening of your sunstone or Orion electrodes for the Orion welders whether we're using a Dremel tool or the new Sunstone Pilot electrode sharpener, both of these are going to be covered in this video. We're going to be going over the setup for the Dremel tool. Now, it's going to come in just like this with a few other accessories. What we want to do is loosen up this side by pushing that button, and then we can twist it counterclockwise or lefty loosey if you then we want to slide in the attached diamond disc this would have come with your machine in a vial that contained spare electrodes and our electrodes are going to look like this so we'll put that to the side so we're going to slide this in and again if it doesn't slide in easily let me simulate that so if it doesn't go in we just need to loosen this just a little bit until it can bottom out. While holding this still, we're going to tighten it or righty tighty, and then that's nice and secure. You can use the wrench that is supplied with the Dremel tool if you'd like, but it's unnecessary since we are not going to be applying very much strain to this tool. So how we properly use this is we're going to place our electrode in this configuration. Not like this, but like this. With this particular Dremel tool, it's going to be spinning this direction. 
So I'm going to hold it like this so that it's pulling. That makes it give me a little bit more control over how this is going to be going. So what I'm going to be doing is, again, putting it at about 15 degrees, and that's about 15 degrees right there. And I'm going to be spinning it against my fingers like this. And so on the speed here, we're just going to spin it. And once we feel like it's sharp enough, we can go ahead and test the sharpness. And if it kind of grabs your skin a little bit, that's a good indicator that we are, have reached the sharpness ideal for welding. So that's the setup for the Dremel. Let's move over to the Pilot. I love this machine because it takes out a lot of the guesswork out of how we angle our electrodes. So you can see on the side here that there's a little pilot hole, hence the name. So the Orion electrode sharpener pilot, we can feed that in, and you can see that the electrode is going to fit just right. And we can still do that spinning motion while working this. So we're going to pull that out, set it to three, and then we're going to just spin it. Turn that off. Again, I always like checking, and that feels amazing. Nice and sharp. So whether you're using the Sunstone Pilot or a Dremel tool or Dremel-like tool, it is always good to maintain your electrode often in order to ensure good results whether it be permanent jewelry or something a little bit larger, like charms. If you ever see that this electrode is getting contaminated or that there's black soot that's forming on it, it is paramount that we sharpen this electrode. And once we do, you'll see a restoration of the good results that we would be expecting to see.